no difference. The next song is a medley of these folk songs, including In the Summer the Sun Shines, O Verblad, My Love is Like a Dainty Shepherdess, and The King. We hope you enjoy Eric Osterling's Swedish Folk Rhapsody.
last minute stroke of luck to save him from certain demise. Thank you for enjoying our concert this afternoon.
I might be biased because it's my mother, but she is down halfway down there and she will be making tea rings for the next hour. So I'd like to see how those are made. Committee. It is my pleasure to extend our warmest greetings and welcome you to another wonderful Spence Billings Fest. I am Ryan Beeger and this is your co-chairs for this committee for this Spence Billings Fest Committee, which is a group of 22 dedicated employees individuals serving 10 different subcommittees. We have spent the past two years working to put on the weekend's events. It takes many hours of planning and coordinating as well as over 100 additional volunteers to make this festival a success. We hope throughout the weekend that you'll see their hard work shine, and we ask that you please take a moment to give your thanks to these hard-working individuals.
forget, there's a couple of house warming rules here. If you have smorgasbord sport tickets, don't forget to pick those up there at the information booth, which is located directly east of the main stage there. Different curves. Smorgasbord is located at the J.O. Central building tonight and tomorrow night, 5 and 7. The food court is located south of here. You can't miss it down there. If you're in the children's area, located north of the main stage, as well as the children's tent, which is directly east of there as well. And then also tonight at 6.30 at the Bethany Lutheran Church, which is located three blocks north of here, it's the Smoky Valley Men's Choir. Please remember, masks are required to attend the event. We have them available at the door as well. Also at the Hymns Lloyd, which is north of here block, we have a stage for performance areas, as well as one block south of here as well. Thanks again to the Smoky... Once again to the Smoky Valley Middle School Band on their great performance today. We now want to welcome Chris Ninus, pastor of the Bethany Lutheran Church, to offer our invocation today. Pastor Chris. Let us join our hearts and minds together in prayer. Almighty God, creator of land, sea, and sky, and everything in them, we acknowledge your love and grace that is for all people. Today we thank you for this celebration and the blessings we have received as a community over the last 152 years. We thank you for those generations who paved the way for us today. While we have failed to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with you, you have been faithful and generous, never failing us as your children. Have mercy on us according to your unfailing love and great compassion. May grace, mercy, and peace prevail in this valley and throughout the world. Guide us as we celebrate our heritage of faith and the culture of food, art, dance, and song. We pray this celebration of our heritage and community glorifies and honors you. We thank you for the people who made this Hellingsfest possible. May you be with all who visit Lindsborg and those who welcome friends and family to this place. Allow your love to be seen, felt, and witnessed as we gather these days. May you, O oh God, be gracious to us. Let your light shine upon us as we continue the traditions of the past and live out your will for our future. We pray in the name of the one who came to earth and showed us what it means to love one another. Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen.
I'd like to make sure and take a moment to thank all of our sponsors who helped make this festival a success. It takes a lot to put on a festival of this size, and without your help, it would not be possible. I'd like to especially thank our Diamond Dollar sponsors, which consists of donating over 2,500 for the event. It consists of First Bank Kansas, who is also our mainstay, Bank Bank and Trust, Lindsborg Community Hospital, Stockholm Project LLC, Dome So Inn, City of Lindsborg, Smoky Valley Community Foundation, and McPherson County Community Foundation as well. Thank you for your generosity to the festival once again. Now we would like to introduce Lindsborg's mayor, Becky Anderson, and invite her to offer a greeting to Lindsborg. the traditions that they started when they are, were our college students. Um, we're very proud of our relationship with this community. We have a scholarship program called the Good Life Scholarship where each student who's in McPherson or in Saline County can receive a free tuition scholarship as long as they live on campus. So um, if you're thinking of moving to the area, you can certainly do that. 
Um, and we're just so proud, as I said, to really be participating in this event during our own homecoming. So welcome and thank you, and thank you to the Helmings Fest community. Thank you, President Malk. We'd now like to invite the Soderstrom Elementary School and Smoky Valley Middle School students to enter the dance circle so they will be able to view the crowning of the 2021 Spence Killings Fest King and Queen. As the students get prepared, please remember tomorrow morning starting at 10 a.m. we have a parade starting down from the north of the water tower and heading south to the Methodist Church. Please arrive early, as you know, parking will be an interesting situation. Also, taking place at the Bethany Lutheran Church tomorrow after the parade, there will be many different activities going on. Please check the schedule as well and see if something interests you. There's also the Arts and Crafts, located directly by the food court, as well as the Coop area, which is a Swedish game. If you're interested in that, it's located just west of the Arts and Crafts. And if you're, this is your first time coming to Svens Helens Helen's Fest, welcome. If you have any questions, please let any of the members know. The information booth has all the information you need, but if there's something that doesn't make sense, ask one of us, we'd be glad to get you taken care of. Some of you wonder, how is Hillings Fest date decided? Well, we, we do a coordination with Bethany College. With their homecoming, we always like to participate with the football game on that Saturday, which is taking place tomorrow. There's Sterling College. With Kansas weather, you never know what it's going to do. As you can see this weekend, we're going to see some record highs, unlike some other festivals where we've had to be in Long John's and Long Coats. Typically, next uh, festival will be taking place on October 13th and 14th of 2023. You will see an announcement on that in the near future once everything is finalized with the college. As Mrs. Nelson gets the kids lined up, as you can see, having first grade through eighth grade lined up, it is a defi definite difficult task. Also, a big thank you should go out to Hop Sound at a McPherson for providing the music again this year. He's done it for numerous festivals, and we thank him very much for it. Also, if you're a runner, tomorrow morning, I believe at 7 a.m., they're doing a 5K and a 15K. The entry or the location to sign up, like I said, is the Smoky Valley Virtual Charter School, which is located on South Main. That will be your entry.
were just here for the day, we're here for the whole entire festival. There was many of things that take place up and down Main Street. Also, the Old Mill Museum is located on the south side of town. We do offer a free shuttle service today, so if you park anywhere around town, we have five locations located directly east. We have a drop-off at the uh, City Works Building, out by Wright's Food Liner, Old Mill Museum, Sands Inn Gallery, and the Smoky Valley High School. We do have shuttle stop signs as well as a blue tent that where the bus will come. Generally about every 15 minutes or so, they will come and pick you up. Like I said, it is a free service and it offers you the opportunity to take out some different sites here in Lindsborough. To wrap up the festival, King Midas will present it just east of the main stage by the new tent. They will start, I believe, around 7 p.m. and wrap up around 10. And tomorrow, after the parade concludes, the main stage will start roughly at 12 o'clock sharp. The Spence Helly's Fest Committee reaches out to public to receive nominations for a festival key degree. We look for nominees that have made significant contributions to Lindsborg that preserves its Swedish heritage. Our king and queen for this Spence Helly's Fest definitely fulfills these requirements. It is my honor to present this year's king and queen to Mar Emilian Anderson. Mr. and Mrs. Anderson have been involved in many aspects of supporting and promoting Lindsborg over the years. Laura was a local school board president for a number of years and a football coach along Ted Kessinger for 27 years. Leanne has been involved in numerous music endeavors from the next choir director, high school music teacher, Lindsborg Arts Council member, and our stage announcer for the festival from 1985 to 2019. These contributions, as well as countless others, have made them the 2021 Vince Millings Fest King and Queen. Lord and Leon, we thank you for the love of your community, and we take this time now to honor you. Today at 3 p.m. at the First Bank Lobby, we are having a King and, King and Queen reception. Welcome to all. Please, once again, let's give a round of applause to our King and Queen. Marvin Lee, here now are the Silver Show School children led by Lori Nelson to sing Children of the Heavenly Father to honor you as this year's Spence Hillings Fest King and Queen. 
and Ethan Sisgri, directed by Brittany English.
help me in thanking all of these students for their beautiful music. We now like to turn the program over to our Hillens Fest volunteers and stage announcers, Joyce Peterson and Kirsten Bruce. Thank you for joining us in our celebration, celebrating Smith's Hillens Fest, and have a wonderful weekend. Thank you again to the Soderstrom Elementary students and the Smoky Valley Middle School students for singing for us today. We are so, it's one of my favorite parts of the festival. I would like to also announce that Karen Ealing is the accompanist for all grades, one through eight. The Soderstrom Elementary School is directed by Lori Nelson first through fourth grade dancing and works with the fifth and sixth singers and speakers. Lindsberg has a very interesting history of working with the schools and the community to make Helmings Fest happen. So one of the ways that they do that is that the teachers actually work Helmings Fest, the programs, the singing and the dancing into their curriculum so that they can do it for the first few weeks of school, which is I think an amazing partnership. So their dancing is done during their regular music time. As we get closer to Hillings Fest, Lycan Haxon helps and combines her PE time with the music time. Library time is also impacted. Sarah Jowers was a huge help when merging the classes to practice this year. Marika Peterson was a high school aide, and Soderstrom Elementary Office Secretaries Kelly DeMars and Aaron Lundstrom helped a lot behind the scenes. Also a big, huge thank you to the Soderstrom Elementary teachers for their flexibility in their schedules that I can group them for dancing. All in all, there will be 190 dancers this afternoon. The fifth and sixth grade dancing is done with Brittany English. The dancing is done during the fifth and sixth grade general music time. One week prior, PE time is lost when the two classes of each grade are combined together. Thank you to Tim Lambert for sacrificing your class time so the students can practice together. Thank you to the middle school teachers for being so flexible as they take students from other classes to help out. Today there are 49 fifth and sixth graders dancing. Angela DeLiso leads the seventh and eighth grade dancing. They practice during biking time at the end of the school day. Melanie Falcon and Carrie Moore taught the Maple dance this year. Catherine Fowler directed the Boys Oxen Dance. Vince Warbington, Jason Drewlard, Courtney Strauss, and Brian Flax also helped with the Boys Dance. Angelique Liesel taught the Girls Weavers Dance. The seventh grade middle school has 45 boys in seventh and eighth grade dancing the Oxen Dance, and 52 girls dancing the Weavers and the Maple Dances. Thank you and all the students for just making this so special. We are appreciative and we appreciate you extra on a hot, hot day. So you might notice that all of the students are in Swedish costumes. This is an absolutely amazing endeavor by this community. And it's probably one of the reasons why we can only put this together every two years. Because to get the costumes all mended and ready to go is quite an endeavor that takes a huge group of people. So this committee gets the tubs out of the storage and we have a huge group of community members that help to put those together. Joyce was one of them. I thank her very much for her part in helping mend all the Swedish costumes as I can't even sew on a button. So I'm impressed by the group of people that get together to mend them. I want to list these workers that did mend um, and checked all the costumes for the costume bake. There are 23 tubs of Swedish costumes that can be loaned to children to the uh, The helpers were Marilyn Mall, Liz Johnson, Marion Lindshield, Darlene Hanlon, Nancy Fredrickson, Nancy Johnson, Nim Johnson, Carol DeSignas, Mary Parker,
Parker, Galen Hawk, Vibrant Hawk, Susan Lundstrom, Cheryl Hay, Mary Harder, and Nancy Kessinger. I got to help this year for the first time, and it's really amazing all the work that goes into keeping these costumes ready, loaned out to students. And Oh, and Mrs. Nelson says donations are welcome. So if you have any extra Swedish costumes that your family is not using, we always need more. And thank you to so many parents that sew their own. It's really a whole community effort to uh, put this on. So and the Sodas from PTO and the Smoky Valley Middle School PTO, along with both libraries, also help with checking out the costumes of the school. So as Joyce mentioned, many parent and community members even jumped in to help check out the costumes. And it is a huge endeavor for the hundreds of kids that sung as part of the opening ceremony and will perform here with their classes. So thank you to the Soderstrom Helpers, Judy Kindlesparger, Eileen Patrick, Susan Lundstrom, Cassie Johnson, Rachel Ladd, Deb McGinty, Carol Vecinius, Roche Pitt, Mrs. Jowers, who checked out 88 costumes. Thank you to Sarah Jowers for entertaining them with the computer, so they were checked out just like a library. Oh, I guess she didn't entertain them, she entered them. <laughs> Maybe she did entertain them. <laughs> Maybe next year she can add that into our room tomorrow. Perfect.
They continue their program with the game, the farmer, in which they imitate a farmer moving about his daily tasks.
home for the children and the people who live so close to the sea to enjoy singing games concerning boats. The second grade will perform a row.
pretend they are taking a ride on the carousel. If you will notice, the inner circle will make a carousel, where the outer circle will take a ride.
flows from the pottery pools on a game enjoyed by Swedish people of all ages.
happy and energetic dance, which the fifth grade greatly enjoys.
concentration as it contains eight sections. will conclude with two various dances entitled Tantoli and Clock Dance.
Thank you to Henry Bowman for announcing and for the 7th and 8th grade boys for dancing the Ox Thompson.
program will conclude with the Maple Dance, performed by the seventh grade girls.
Okay, we're going to let Mari talk and the fiddlers take over and get ready. Thank you all for being here. Swedish folk dancers, a group of nearly 50 high school aged folk dancers and musicians. Our group is known as the Ambassadors of Lindsborg and was formed in 1963. In its over 50 years of existence, our members have traveled and performed throughout the United States, Canada, Mexico, Scandinavia, and Russia. These trips are made possible by hundreds of hours of fundraising, donations from performances, and support from our community. Our first dance today will be a polka called Treaty, or Three Things. In other words, a polka with three sequences. Then start the treaty. Look for the three sections, each one ending with a polka step, which they do around in a circle. Please enjoy Treaty. Thank you. 
This particular shadish was called Alan shadish. Alan is where the dance originates from, a group of islands between Sweden and Finland. The people of Åland are mainly Swedish-speaking, are Finnish citizens, and have their own Åland island flag and postal service. Our next dance will be Young Polska. It is common for dances to be named after a Swedish province. In this case, the dance is named for Jankland and is a Polska. A Polska, not to be confused with a Polka, means Poland in Swedish and likely has its roots in music and dances of the Polish courts. The Polka is mostly associated with Norway and Sweden and Finland. This dance is fun in the way that the couples should be noted smiling and flirting with one another. This dance also tests the physical strength of our boys as they lift the girls off the ground. This is Jan Polska. times, it has been common to put various items out in the shape of a cross and dance over them while attempting not to touch them. It could be straw, rakes, pitchforks, or even swords, such as arbor pieces. This is an all-boy dance that begins with one boy, then others join in as they become interested. The music gets faster and faster, and it becomes more and more difficult for the boys to keep from touching the swords with their feet. Eventually, one boy is left and is the winner of the challenge. This dance is called Sword Dance.
Our next dance will feature many of our girl dancers. It is the newest dance in our repertoire. We learned it especially for the 2019 Hillings Fest when we had a very high number of the female dancers. It is an Engelska, which means it is an English dance. It is also for three pairs. Please, please notice the especially pretty swishing skirts of the ladies during the weaving section of the song. The dance is called Engelska for Trey Parr. which translates to quick with the feet. It is another Danish dance, and it was taught to us several years ago at a folk dance workshop hosted by the Scandinavian folk dancers of Omaha, Nebraska, which our group has attended several times. It is a fun and lively dance that has an arm movement overhead and a section we call gates, where performers will take turns dancing through each other's gates. See if you can look out for those. This is Raspa Foto.
is a popular traditional Scandinavian folk dance, and there are many versions of weaver dances. They were originally little song games where participants sang a tune about weaving and the work of the loom as they danced. Imagine the fabric being woven on the loom as you watch this dance. Take note as the dancers work together to knit, darn, weave, thread, unravel, wind the bolt, and finally test the finished woven cloth.
Dance Dance is very fun and lively. Our dancers always seem to enjoy themselves as they perform it. The group first learned the dance on a tour to Sweden in 1992 from a folk dance group in Trollhagen. Its official name is Baden, or the Wolf. Notice the girls in the center of the ring are trying to stay clear of the so-called wolves. This dance comes from central Sweden and Dalarna, which is a province of Sweden, where many of our Smoky Valley settlers came from, and where many of our dancers' costumes are patterned after. We call this dance Four Corner Mix. Yeah. 
or oxen would dance for upperclassmen in an all-male junior college in the capital of Varmland, the province of Spain. Varmland is where many of the founders of Lindsberg came from. You will see how the men go all out to win a fight, but in the end become respectful opponents.
Next, we have another beautiful all-girl dance, specially choreographed for our group by a, spe by a special Lindsborg resident who originally came from Sweden. This is Charlotte Anderson. Some of our dances are very, very old individually, but this one is a more recent combination of old English dances. Now we will perform our very own Lindsborg and Gelska. Stensvals, which is a traditional Swedish tune. Most of our dances are designed for groups, but this dance could be performed by one couple alone. We call this the Cali P. Waltz.
favorite among Scandinavian folk dance groups in English is Little Man in a Fix. There is one man out there who is in a terrible situation. There is some interesting weaving as well as some waltzing, but someone out there is not happy to be in on all of the fun. The dance is one of our most popular dances to perform and we hope you enjoy Little Man in a Fix. many, many years ago. This dance has been a part of every Lensborg Swedish folk dance program for at least 40 years. In fact, when any alumni are in the audience, they are eager to join in on the fun. Unfortunately, this year, we won't be encouraging audience participation, but we do look forward to dancing with you in the future. This dance can get a little competitive and rambunctious, as you will see. Tally Oxen.
Linsmark Swedish folk dancers have now come to the end of our performance. We hope you have enjoyed seeing our dances and learning a bit about our Swedish cultural heritage. Some of us possess Swedish heritage, some do not, but we all embrace the traditions of those who founded our town. Through our dedication to that cause, we have given many we have been given many opportunities to travel to meet and share with others, including you here today. Our last dance involves several types of jig steps. This dance, too, is one of our favorites as fiddlers. We try to see if our fingers can keep up with the dancer's feet. We say, if you're not playing every note right, you're not playing fast enough. This is horn fiddling.